This is Alan for all you from FX Empire. Dow component Walmart has broken out to an all time high. By taking a look back, though, the pandemic triggered just a ton of volatility as everyone tried to figure out who were the winners and losers. Finally, resolved to the upside with the stock breaking out to a new high up to about 133 level in April. It carved this cute little cup and handle pattern right here into August, breaking out once again, coming up above 151. Now, that was in September 2020, and the stock really made no further progress for about a year and a half. As you can see, we have a failed breakout attempt, another one here, another one here, another one here. The stock then came down to an 11-month low during the uh, Ukraine sell-off in February 2020 and then took off in this very strong uh, up uh, trend or uh, uptick, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it got a little bit wavy at the beginning, then it's gone straight up from 141 all the way to 158. Now, this is a very unstable move, and this is kind of a problem. Yeah, we do have Looks like a legitimate breakout, but you sure don't want to break out to start from 10 points below the breakout level. That is a problem. Now, you can see this compounded, taking a look at on balance volume. As you can see, we have a nice little top over here in 2019. Uh, posted a lower high here, posted a lower high here, posted a lower high here, 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 and well, here. And now we have uh, on balance volume only up to here. It's not even one third of the distance all the way back to the prior high. So we have this massive bearish divergence on top of the straight up action from the 140s. Uh, translating, I think we're going to get very severe testing right here in the uh, upper 140s and low 150s before this thing consolidates and either gives us a confirmed breakout or a failed breakout.